Konnichiwa, this is Red Stock Straight from Japan, and today we're actually going to do a video review of a U.S. release. This is Toys R Us, or Toys R Us exclusive, Cybertron Starscream, and I'm just going to show you the box real quick because I think it's kind of neat. And I'm just going to move that out of the side. And I just want to see the artwork, and you can see his little trademark smirk. Uh, Transformer Cybertron, R.I.D., whatever you want to call it. All right, this is a Supreme class. It, class that has the Earth Planet key. It actually has two Cybertron keys. And unfortunately, I'm missing the crown, so I don't get the cool-looking crown with that. But I just want to show you the back. And this guy is a freaking beast. So without further ado, let's go ahead and focus on the main man himself. Okay, good. Fantastic. Let me just show you that. Let me just go ahead and move this in so you can have a better view of that. This is Cybertron. Starscream and he's absolutely huge just to give you a size comparison. This is little st Sunstorm so you can well I won't transform Sunstorm, but I will show you he does rule for some odd reason. He has interesting little gimmicks like the gun over here Yeah, oh well it does that and That's all it does is a few humongous brick in my opinion, but it does have some Light up sounds. If you press the button, you can see it light up. The cannons light up. That's basically all it does. All right, and you can see the guy's head over here. The crown normally would be on top like that, but unfortunately, I don't have that bad boy. All right, so basically, it's a humongous brick. It does look kind of good. It does retain nice star screen colors. You can see the little Decepticon logo over here. But because it's a huge brick with very little in the way of innovation, even though it does hide a lot of the get or the under doesn't have undercarriage junk, junk. It's actually a blown up Voyager class Cybertron Starscream. In the way of innovation, it's a huge brick. I'll give it a five out of ten. Let's go ahead and transform this bad boy. Cannons do mo up and down, and it's fairly simple. Basically, just split over here, and I like to say that the nose cone is a nice rubbery plastic. So just move this over here. And it has nice ratchet joints, by the way. So th these are the legs. Separate them. Go all the way down. Rotate them. Easy. Put the while we're at it, let's put the little nose cone down so it doesn't break. Same thing with the other leg. Ratchet down. All right. You have to rotate this 90 degrees, just like that. All right. So let's go to the bottom. So you can see it has a nice little heel spur that you pull put, put down all the way down. Same thing with the other side. Good. All right, so let's move on with the feet. This little nose cone actually goes inside. Flip the feet 90 degrees up, and now the boy can stand. Good, because now we can do the rest of them. Fantastic how that worked out. All you have to do is rotate this bad boy down 90 degrees. Then you see his head. Pop the bottom. Transformation sound there, I guess. And just rotate that 90 degrees. That's good. Same thing with the other fist. Tab it in. There we go. And just rotate that 90 degrees. Oh, and just for... Just roll this down 90 degrees in the back so it gets out of the way. It does have a couple of gimmicks. And you can see it has good detail on the face. Face does rotate could rotate 360 degrees real nice and here's the gimmick so I just want to make sure it's a little dark so you may be able to see there so I'm gonna hit it I don't know if you can see that and it lights up and that's about it that's its only gimmick with the electronics anyhow but it has other gimmicks as well and let me remove the cyber planet key from the back here you have a regular Decepticon key and the earth key and it doesn't matter which way is which, but I'm just going to show you on the arms right here. Let's put this back. All, right, all we're going to do right here is just pop in the Cybertron key on the side here. And uh, actually, something's going to pop out from the bottom. Yeah, look at that sword. That's pretty awesome. Same thing on the other side. Oops. Well, and that's what I don't like about that. They actually just tab in there. So let me go ahead and tab that back in. There we go. Yeah, and I love the ratchet joints. And here we go. Ready? And pop in the... There we go. 
This thing actually fires, so it is gonna fire. There's a little switch right here. Come on, there we go. Let me see that again. <laughs> yeah, okay, if it doesn't wanna fire, it doesn't wanna fire. But that's okay. In the way of articulation, this guy is not just more than a brick. He's freaking, <laughs> well, he has some articulation in the arms, not so much. He has elbow articulation, no wrist articulation. The fists are molded when I wish he actually had something or some gun that he can use. Unfortunately, he doesn't have any weapons other than the ones that are already stored in his arms. So, I wish I had something. And that's all, that's it pretty much, elbow articulation. The shoulder rotates 360 degrees and you have that cool sound every time you... There we go. As far as for leg articulation, you have a thigh swivel. It does move up and down, ratchets to the back. Of course, you want to put this back just to show you. So that's it for articulation. He's a big brick. Oh, well, what can you say? So let me put him back over here so y'all can have a better look at him. Pretty intimidating, not going to lie to you. So he could probably mess, mess you up. Let me go ahead and zoom out so y'all can have a better look. Okay, still not, still not in frame. That's okay. And just for a size comparison, because he is pretty large, here, is, here he is with Sunstorm. <laughs> Sunstorm looks like a baby. And so as you can see, he's about 13, 14 inches. All right, that's all I got, and I'll catch you all next time.